Hello, Anthony Carpenter here with Puffles the Dragon Fairy and we are on day two of Vloguary. This is where I am producing a short vlog post for every single day of the month just to get used to talking into a camera and to stop saying um all the time. The inspiration behind this was in part Rosiana Halser aka Paper Time Lady on Twitter who has been vlogging for longer than I can remember um, and has become absolutely brilliant at it and I almost want to become as competent as she is at basically talking into the camera and talking about things so that I don't necessarily have to write them out in an extended blog post. Where do I find myself vlogging on day two? Well in part I probably drank far too much of this cracking fair trade Malbec from Argentina sold by the co-op when I realised that, crikey, I had to put another vlog post up. They always say in TV, never work with children, never work with animals, and they also say never tweet or post status updates on your social media accounts when drunk. So I'm a little bit tipsy doing this, but I thought, you know, hey, here goes nothing. Now, one of the things that I wanted to... One of the things that I want to do, one of the things I want to do for 2016 is to see a lot more comedy acts. After all, we're living in very dark times politically, amongst other things, so nothing else to lighten the mood. But one of the things I've noticed in Cambridge in particular, and also, funnily enough, when I was looking through iTunes, was just the complete lack of women who were featured in the highlights in the shortlists. And I'm wondering why this is, and it's kind of the same again again with musical acts where while I see and often film a lot of women singer-songwriters I tend not to see all women groups kind of in the way that we often see all male music groups and I'm just wondering why this is it's all very well for the likes of myself and others to say you know yes venues need to do far more to diversify the audiences that they book but is part of the problem kind of like further back is there something about how we nurture, how we bring through and how we encourage people from more diverse backgrounds and more women in particular to basically take to the stage whether musically or whether in terms of comedy. One of the reasons being is when you look at comedy and in particular from a scrutinising politics sense, so we're talking satire here, is that if it's all male and you just have to look at the, the lineup of Mock the Week as an example or perhaps uh, Have I Got News For You, is that if you're automatically excluding half of the population because of their gender, then there are you know potentially insights and issues that we're completely missing out on. And I think in particular for the you know for the likes of the broadcasters, the BBC for example, don't they have a public duty to do something about that? So again, one of the things I'm going to be continually asking questions about is actually how do we basically do something positive about it rather than just necessarily complaining whether it's me to a camera or whether it's two venues to say you know look come on sort things out so yeah i'm going to sign off here for vloguary part two and part three comes up tomorrow